Welcome to Ansol, best place to learn ANSYS and SOLIDWORKS. Our today topic is frequency analysis of print print bar. Let's start. We have a bar of length 25 inch and height 1 inch. Bar is cylindrical cylindrical supported at both ends. Bar thickness is 0.5 inch and it is made of steel. So let's start our simulation now. First of all, we will model this bar. Select the front plane and make sketch on the front plane using the slot command. This is straight slot feature. Make origin as start point and move away from origin and click as on second point. You find the Define circles at both ends and make these circles diameter equals using this equal constraint. Okay, then we will give dimension to this sketch. Height is one inch and dia of inner circle is 0 0.5 inch the center to center distance between circles is 24 inch okay our sketch has completed now we will exit from sketch and extrude this sketch using extrude feature and multiplane options Depth of extrusion is half inch. Now we have completed our 3D model. Now click on simulation tool and click on new study. Its study name is frequency. Okay. Ensure frequency model checked. Okay. Now first we will define material that is. Now we will define number of marks to be extract. First we will define number of marks 3. And this ok. Then we will define material that is plain carbon steel. Now we will define cylindrical support arts its both ends. Select this face and in advanced option, use cylindrical support and make its radial fix and axial also fix. But it can is has free movement in its circumferential or tensional direction. So we have applied a cylindrical support. And learn how to how to apply cylindrical support okay similarly we will apply cylindrical supports and other end again go on picture and select select ruler edge and select this circle face in advanced options select cylindrical support and make its axial and radial direction fix and keep free in tangential directions okay then we will create mesh In advanced options, we will define mesh element size. So enter the mesh element size here. Wow. 
and click OK. So we have generated mesh for our simulations. Now run the simulation. Wait until simulation completed. So our simulation has been completed and you can see results for first mod. Frequency for first mod is 160 hertz and you can see the deformation for first mod is in X-ray plane. It means the support at this point acts as pin pin support. Now you can animate your deformation. You can set the number of frames to make the animation slow. Click on the second mod and you can see the frequency in second mod is about 100, 185 hertz. But the deformation in this mod is not in X wave plane, it is in XZ plane. It means that it had support is fixed, not pin pin support. So for first or second mod, we have learned or also in third mod, the support is not pin pin support, its deformation is in XZ plane. Now you click on another mod, mod number 4 and we will again simulate our results for this mod. Now can you okay sorry again we first first of all we will delete these all mods then again we will define number of mods equal to four and run our simulation wait until simulation completed now you can go on the fourth mod You can see second mod is not in XY planes, it means it has a fixed support and also third mod is not in XY planes but the, when you go on the fourth mod you can see the fourth mod deformation is in XY plane it means the support at fourth mod is pin pin support. So I think you have learned a lot from this tutorial. Please keep on following my channel and please please subscribe and share my channels. Your comments are really appreciable and encouraging for me. Please give your comments and ask questions. I will be really happy. Thank you. Bye bye.